Stanford University. Welcome you all to this 2019 graduation ceremony. I want to start with the American Chemical Society Organic Chemistry Award, Toss Yu Soon Torn. The Merck Index Award, Shannon Chow Chi Chu. SS and IMF Marsden Memorial Prize in Chemistry, Eric Yu Lin. <laughs> Annual Reviews Prize in Physical Chemistry, and this year it goes to Joseph Anthony Romaniuk. <laughs> and uh, this year uh, we have two great uh, advisors who've been helping me and the other members of the Undergraduate Studies Committee, Xiao Chi Chu and Allison Michelle Keyes. If you'd both come up. I think, I think very much, according to my record, Jacob is Barry's last PhD student, and I think we should congratulate Barry for his vast contributions to chemistry. So it, it's really a great pleasure for me to introduce our commencement speaker, uh, Professor Catherine Willits, who is the Robert L. Smith Early Career Professor in the Department of Chemistry at Temple University. I really want to start off by just offering my heartfelt congratulations to all of the graduates. Um, behind me sit a number of faculty who have alternately inspired you and tortured you over the years. And so today is really the day that you get to declare victory, so congratulations. <laughs> As I think back to my own training in chemistry, one of the things I realized is chemistry is really a dual degree, right? You're getting a degree in the science of chemistry, but you're also getting a degree in the language of chemistry, right? As we sit here looking at all of us in our cool gowns and our funny hats, we could all have conversations that the non-scientists in the room would not follow at all. I'm sure those of you in the audience who have graduates sitting here today have probably asked them, so what are you working on? And then they start to tell you, and then you start to think, you know, what am I having for dinner today? <laughs> but really, learning this language of chemistry is what makes this so fun, right? We all basically get to piece together these ideas into coherent concepts, which is remarkable to me. I think one of the biggest challenges we face, though, as chemists is oftentimes this language that we use can seem very inaccessible to the uninitiated. And so people don't always engage with the field. I challenge you to find ways to talk about your science without relying on too much vocabulary or overwhelming jargon. Just like I can't remember the Latin word for book anymore, many people may not have the language of science at their fingertips. And so words like electron, right, which to us we take for granted, might seem kind of scary or just might be very buried deep in someone's memory. 
And so that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to explain things. It simply means that we have to find a way to talk about these concepts in ways that people can truly understand. And to give some perspective on this, just two weeks ago I took a class and the instructor actually said, if you can't explain something in simple terms, you may not understand it yourself. And I thought these were very profound words, and it turns out I was taking a beer tasting class. And so, <laughs> but I think the message is as true for beer tasting as it is for chemistry, which is simply that we need to help people understand what we're doing, and that requires us to think about how we explain it in more straightforward and clear terms. It's wonderful that you're here, that you found the shared love of chemistry, and I'm excited to see what you go out into the world and do.